let's take a look at how to use the new Dream Machine from Luma Labs to create an AI video. Now you can do this for free or you can sign up for their paid accounts, but it's super simple to actually use this and create a video. So first we're gonna go to lumalabs.ai. We're gonna click on try now. And then we can sign in, again, either creating an account. I like to just sign in with Gmail, so I'm gonna do that. Now, once we're in here, we have our main screen. And this is where we can type in our prompt for the AI video that we want to create. So there's two ways that you can approach this. One way is to prompt with just text, and the other way is to prompt with an image. So let's go ahead and say, like, um, I'm gonna describe the shot that I want with text. So I'll say panning across a beautiful um, latte on a rustic wooden table at a cafe. So that's a text prompt. And I wanna describe here when I'm prompting this exactly what I want in my scene. So I'm gonna describe the type of shot, like a pan, we're gonna hopefully slowly pan across this imagined beautiful latte exactly what I want to see and then something about the surroundings here. And you can get more complex with these. You can just keep it more general like that. If you have cinematic experience, you can describe in detail exactly the shot you want. But I find that the system does a pretty good job um, anyway. You can say enhance prompt. I usually do keep that on. You can try it either with or without. That's going to basically take an LLM and kind of take your basic prompt and maybe add to it and write some additional stuff and try to better interpret your intent. Again, I like to try with and without, but I'm gonna uh, start by leaving it on. Then just hit the button and um, it's gonna add this to the queue. Now, once it gets started on actually processing, you're gonna see that change to dreaming instead of in queue. And the time that's gonna take is gonna depend on whether you have a free or paid plan. I'm seeing that on the free plan, it's typically been taking a couple of hours for this to come through the queue. On the paid plan, it's usually about five minutes to 20 minutes, depending on the complexity of the prompt. So that's again, the first approach that we can take of just prompting. You can see now it's switched to dreaming, prompting the text. The other approach, and I think this is great if you want more creative control, is to prompt with text and an image. And you can generate that image through an external AI system. So let's make a beautiful latte image with Midjourney. Um, and you, again, you can use any, you can actually use a real image, and then we'll upload that and add in a prompt while this is working on the first one. So here I am in Midjourney in the Discord. I'm going to say imagine, slash imagine, I'm going to say beautiful uh, latte on a rustic wooden table. We'll let Midjourney create some options for us here. And again, you could use um, ChatGPT with Dolly, you could use Diagram, you can take a real picture, whatever you wanna do. I'm just gonna show this with Midjourney. Okay, so here's some options. This is a, a pretty good interpretation of the prompt uh, here. I think this, this captures it. I'm gonna go ahead and upscale, choose basically this fourth image. Here it is. I'm gonna download it to my computer. I'm just gonna say uh, save image. Save that here, um, it's off the screen. I'm saving it into a download folder on my computer. Now let's go back to Luma. It's still dreaming about that first prompt. I'm gonna go ahead and press the image button on here and I'm gonna upload that latte image that I just created. So there we go, latte image is in and I'm just gonna say I'm panning across this latte on a table. You can see very exciting, our new our, uh, text-based one is ready, but let's do both at the same time. So say panning across this latte again, image, and then you also still can prompt with text to say what you want to have happen with that AI image that you've uploaded or any image that you've uploaded. So we're in queue, um, this is gonna go in. You can see this took about five minutes to do this, and we'll come back and watch both of these in a sec. Okay, so both of these are done. It took about three minutes for the one generated from the uh, AI image, about five minutes as we saw before for the other one. So let's have a look at these. So here's our first one, um, panning across the beautiful latte on the table here, a rustic wooden table. I like this shot here. I think um, this is indeed a beautiful latte. And I like that it's created this sort of background scene. I also like the kind of shaky camera work it's had in here. Like it does feel like a social media video. The other thing next to it on the table, I honestly don't know what that is supposed to be. It doesn't look like anything. 
but I think you could cut out the first uh, couple seconds of this and use those most likely for this video. Uh, so this is the kind of thing we're getting out of it. Again, not a perfect interpretation of the prompt intent, but still cool what it can do. Here's our um, other one, and you can see it takes that latte and turns it into this big panning shot where we start with that AI generated image pretty faithfully, and then it kind of imagines like what the rest of this room is gonna look like with this little rustic table over here in the outdoors of the cafe. Um, pretty neat. I think you can make that into a cool vertical video, like starting with the latte pans up, um, and then you could have some text appear over this, essentially what becomes like a blank space and make a nice vertical video. Um, once we have these, we have two options with it. Uh, one is we can download the video. So if you have the paid version here, then there's not gonna be a watermark on it. We can just say download. Now, one thing I like to do is you can take these and put them into software like CapCut is a great one to use. Um, so I'll go ahead and upload that video that I just downloaded. Here we are with CapCut. I'm gonna just drag this because it's not a vertical clip to make it vertical here, fill that space. Um, here's our video. And then I could maybe come in at this point and add some text. And let's just say like, OMG best latte social media after all. We'll put that onto our thing here as we get up to basically having this negative space um, on there. Make use of that. And um, now we have a little video. So here's our, our final result there. Now we get this text coming in um, on that video. So as you can see, you don't have perfect control with Luma over exactly what it's going to make. Like it decided to pan up from that cup and kind of just give us the background, but with a little uh, editing, you can go and make that into something that's usable or interesting. This is something you could post on social. Obviously, for most platforms, you're gonna wanna check the box to disclose that it's AI generated, but you know it's a pretty beautiful looking latte on there. Um, pretty good for something created totally via AI. Now, the other thing you can do in Luma, we'll go back there, and we also have the option, we can press extend, and describe what we want to add to this. So maybe we can say like cut to the outside of the cafe where this latte was served. I find this is less reliable in creating something usable, but let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, so this is done. Let's go ahead and have a look. So we start with the same video that we did before. We get there, this is the new piece, and look at that, it's gonna show us the outside of that cafe, totally imagined by the the software here. So I think that's really neat that it can take this AI generated image and based on the vibe and the general look, it's gonna imagine like what would the outside of the cafe that served that latte look like. We've got these sort of like wrought iron looking chairs and there's some orange juice on the table. It's got this nice wooded setting, and wooden roof. So um, I think that that's a neat capability. You can extend, you can keep adding to these things. And then, as you can see, we can just keep extending this endlessly. So this is now 10 seconds long. We can add to the scene. And again, it's not always gonna be perfect. You're not always gonna have perfect control, but you can create longer videos by continuing to add piece by piece to your scenes. So that's a look at how to create AI videos with Luma. Uh, it's a super fun tool.